Hi, welcome to this Help Scout tutorial video. Today we're going to show you exactly how to use Help Scout for your daily customer support. So we'll show you what it looks like when a customer sends a support request and how exactly you can manage and resolve that support request quickly and easily and the step-by-step -step process on how to do that. To get started, if you don't have your free trial of Help Scout, visit our referral link, digitalsuccess.link forward slash Help Scout. You can get a free trial, no credit card required, and you can also get a $50 discount on your plan when you upgrade. So the very first thing that's going to happen is your customer is going to send you a support request. There's a few different ways that your customer can send you a support request, and one of those ways is by using the beacon or website widget to submit their request through your support form. So on your website, you can install the beacon, and all you need is a little um, snippet of code to do that. It doesn't matter what platform you're using, you can install the beacon on just about any one of the different platforms that you, um, that you might have. So here the customer is gonna click on your website widget, and they're gonna fill out your support form. Now in this example, Joe is requesting a refund for his purchase. As soon as Joe clicks the send a message button, he's going to receive this message here on the screen. This is a generic message. You can't really change it. It's just, it is what it is. Now over inside our Help Scout account, let's look at how Joe will be able to receive an auto reply message from you automatically once he submits that help request. Go to manage mailbox, click on your mailbox. On the left, click on auto reply and make sure that the auto reply message is enabled. This means that this message here will get sent to Joe or your customer automatically after they send you a support request. It doesn't matter how that support request gets sent to you. It could be through your business support email address or through the beacon on your website or however they send you that support request, they will automatically receive this message letting them know that you've received their support request and you'll get back to them as soon as you can. Now, this is a great way for you to help your customer feel confident in your support team and help your customer know that you are actively involved with your customer support. Make sure to click the save button after you've set up your auto reply message here. From the Help Scout dashboard, Let's take a look at how to manage and resolve that support ticket from Joe. On the left here, you'll see our mailbox. In the unassigned folder, you'll see that there is a one, meaning that there is one active message waiting in our unassigned folder. All of the new messages or support requests that you receive will go right into your unassigned folder. Another thing to note is that only active messages will show a numeric value. Pending messages and uh, closed messages will not show a number next to the folder. Click on the unassigned folder to open it. Here's Joe's message. Click on the message to open it. And now there's a couple of different things that we can do before we respond to Joe's message. The first thing that we absolutely must do is we have to add a tag or multiple tags to this message. Click the tag button here, type in the name of the tag, and then once you assign this message or this conversation a tag, it will always be with this conversation. Now what I like to do is assign multiple tags to a conversation, and even though these tags kind of look similar, there's a purpose behind that. The reason why I want to add multiple tags and tags that even kind of look similar to each other is because later on, I might not remember the exact tag that I used for this conversation. And so I can use multiple tags so that if I think of any one of these tags later on, I will be able to find this specific conversation based on the tag that I can remember that I added. So I might remember product refund. And so if I look up product refund, I'll be able to find this specific conversation. 
Now, another reason to add multiple tags is that, so that at a glance, when this message shows up with you know a bunch of other messages that I've received, I can just see quickly that this message is about a customer who wanted a refund on a product and that they requested that refund. The next thing we can do before we reply to Joe is we can have an internal communication or collaboration with team members who are also on our Help Scout account. To do this, click on the pencil icon, which will open a new note. Notes are how we communicate internally with team members about a specific conversation. Anything in orange, like this, the customer won't see. Okay, so only our internal team members will see this note and specifically only the team member that we assign to this note will be able to see it. Let's go ahead and reply to Joe. Click on the reply button and this will bring up the message response screen. Here is where I'm going to type in my response to Joe. and I'm going to let Joe know that I've gone ahead and I've refunded his purchase. Now at this point I would like to add a signature at the end of this message. So there's a couple of different ways that I can add a signature. The first is I can manually add a signature and the second way is that I can have a, a permanent signature which will be applied to every single message that goes out of my Help Scout account. Let's look at how to manually add a signature to this message. If I've already created my signature as a saved reply, I can click on the Saved Replies button and simply choose the signature saved reply from the list and it will get added to the message. Now make sure that the cursor is in the exact place where you want the saved reply or in this case the signature to show up. So I put my cursor right here at the end of the message and then when I click on saved replies and then signature, my signature is placed right where I had that cursor. Okay, so the second way that you can add a signature to a message is by creating a permanent signature. The way to create a permanent signature inside of your Help Scout account is to click on Manage and then Mailbox. Click on the Mailbox, scroll down to the end of the Mailbox settings, and you'll see the Signature box. Add your signature inside of the box and then click the Save button and that will create a permanent signature that will go out to every outgoing email. If you no longer wish to have that permanent signature, you can erase everything inside of the signature box, just delete everything in that box, and then make sure to click the Save button once again. Okay, back on our message response to Joe, I actually want to save this entire message as a saved reply to use at some point in the future because I'm pretty sure that other customers are going to have this exact request as well and so I can save this message as a saved reply to use anytime I need to. Click on the saved replies button and then click save this reply. Now all I have to do is give this new saved reply a name. I'm going to put the word sales in brackets and this is because I want all of the saved replies that have to do with the sales category to be grouped together on my saved replies list. Now I'm just going to name this saved reply customer refund message. So this is the saved reply that I'm going to look for anytime I want to respond to a customer who I've issued a refund to. Make sure to click the save reply button and you're good to go. Now while I'm working on this message, if at any point in time that you know I need to save this message for later, but I don't want to send it yet, I can just save this message as a draft. So I can simply click this check mark button here and it will create a draft of this message. And now you can see on the left there's a new folder called drafts and there's one active message inside of that folder. That's this message that I just created. Click on the Drafts folder and you'll be able to see that message here. Click on the draft message to open it 
and then click the edit button to continue working on the message. And as you can see, the message is exactly how we left it. Let's go ahead and send this message. But before that, there's a couple of options that we can choose from as to what will happen to this message or this conversation after we send it. The first option here is status. Right now it's set to pending, but I can use this drop down menu and I can select active, pending, or closed. This means that whatever I put as the status, that's what will be applied to this message as soon as I send it. Let's go ahead and choose active because I want this message to remain active after I send it. Next, we can assign this message to anybody that we want to that's on our Help Scout team, or we can just assign it to ourselves. Now, since I don't have any team members on this account, I'm just going to assign it to me. If I assign this message to anyone, it will actually go back into the unassigned folder. So let's select me, or I'm assigning it to myself, and now let's go ahead and click Send Reply. Now that the email message has been sent, let's see what it'll look like inside of our customer's email account. Here's what the message will look like inside of their email account. And the cool thing is that now that they have opened that message, we can actually see that they have viewed this message. Back inside of our Help Scout mailbox, let's take a look at how we can see that the customer has viewed our message. Because we assigned that message to ourselves, let's click on the Mine folder. Here is the message here. Click on the message to open it. And here you can see that we do have an indication that the customer viewed that message. Now we know exactly what time that the customer saw our reply. Now let's see what it looks like when the customer replies to our response. So in this case, Joe is going to click the reply button inside of his email account, type in his reply here, and then click the send button. And now that message has been sent from his email account. So let's go back over to our Help Scout mailbox. And again, because this message has been assigned to us, we're going to click on the Mine folder. That message is still active, so it's right here at the top. Click on the message to open it. And here is Joe's response of thank you so much. Okay, so now we have resolved Joe's request. We've sent him the product refund that he re he's requested. We've received his reply. And so now we're going to go ahead and close this message. We're done with this conversation. And so if we click on the flag icon here from inside of the message and click on closed, it will close this message. And we don't actually have to open the message in order to close the message. So for example, from the mine folder, I can see that Joe has replied with, thank you so much. And so I know that this conversation can be closed right from here. I don't have to actually open the message. So if I just check the box right here next to the message, I can select the flag icon here and then choose closed from the drop down menu and that will close the conversation. Once a conversation is closed, it will be completely removed from the mine folder so it's not assigned to us any longer because now it's gone into the closed folder. Click on the closed folder and you'll be able to see the message right here. So you still be able to look at the message and you'll still be able to find the message doing a search anytime you need to from the closed folder. Now, if you delete this message altogether, it will be completely removed from the Help Scout. You won't be able to find this message ever again. So as long as it's in the closed folder, you can still work with that message. Also, another thing to know is that if Joe ever does send another reply from this conversation, it will automatically get placed back into the mine folder, back into our folder, and it will automatically show up as an active message 
so that we'll be able to know that that conversation has been continued from Joe or from our customer. And so we don't we won't have to try and find that reply in our closed folder. It'll automatically show up in our folder as an active message anytime your customer responds to any previous conversation. So at this point, if we look in our unassigned folder, you can see there are no more messages left. Good to go. We've managed and responded to all of our support requests. And so congratulations, you're good. If you enjoyed this video, we hope that you will like this video and we hope that you will subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.